Happy New Year, everyone! So today we're doing a New Year's Eve mukbang. And you might be like, Jack, where's the food? We gotta go and get it. Hello, can I please get a regular size um, zinger box, please? Um, can I please get extra lettuce on the burger? And can I get Pepsi Max for the drink? And can I actually swap the... Um, potato and gravy for another regular chips. And can I also get a snack popcorn chicken? And I'll also get uh, six nuggets of sweet and sour sauce. Guys, I just got KFC, but I- ah! Guys, I couldn't decide if I wanted KFC or GYG, so we're getting both. Hello, can I please get um, two $3 tacos spicy? Can I also please just get a- um, Oh my gosh, do you have churros? Um, car caramel, please. Um, and that's everything. Guys, I didn't know what to get. I didn't know what to get. So you might be like, Jack, you just got a lot of food. Guys, it is New Year's and it is also a mukbang. So, there we have it. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, we're back home now. This is what we got. Um, yeah. I've never filmed a mukbang like this before and I'm a little bit nervous. Like, like, what do I say? Like, what do I do? Like, literally just like in general. Like, I don't even know. So anyway, we got the zinger bird. You can just shut up. Oh my God, did I ask for sweet and sour sauce? Did they just put that in there? Or does that come with that? Oh my god, I have no idea. Okay, so we've got a zinger box here with six nuggets and a snack popcorn chicken. We've also got two churros from GYG and we also got two spicy $3 tacos. Guys, it's New Year! Happy New Year! Wait, this, this can be the thumbnail. Ready? Pose for the thumbnail. Okay, done. Okay. It's time to eat. Okay. So how was your 2023? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh cool, right, that's good. I don't know how else to say this, but a wicked wing could save me. I swear, like, if you ever like Jack Cooper needs to be saved, give me a wicked wing. Mm. One down, two to go. I just genuinely cannot believe that is the end of the year. And you might be like, Jack, why are you spending New Year's alone? Like literally every other holiday that happens in your life. Well, I was actually gonna go to the Wildlands Music Festival in Brisbane tonight, but then I was kind of like, mm, do I really wanna go to a music festival on New Year's? Like, what if I get there? What if I hate it? Cause I've actually never been to a music festival. And then I was like, I don't really know. So then I had this other plan that I was actually gonna drive to Sydney and just like, I don't know, spend my, I literally had no idea how long there. But then I decided like literally driving 10 hours in the car, like absolutely not. So anyway, didn't do that. So now it is just me in my apartment on New Year's. But you know what? I'm actually not mad about it because like there is literally nothing better to me in life than just like, I don't know, staying home, doing F all, having the aircon on, like just like kind of existing and stuff. I don't really know. I've just had this like flashback memory of like, like my grandma, right? She would like buy these and like she wouldn't eat them all, right? But she would keep them for like the next day and then she would like put them in the microwave the next day. I don't know why. I've just like had a flashback of like the taste of like next day microwave KFC chips. Does anyone know what that tastes like? Why do these kind of taste like they've been microwaved? Have they? No. They kind of taste like they've been put in the microwave. I don't know. Honestly, filming a mukbang is a really big deal to me because like, sometimes even when I'm just like editing like the other two vlogs that I posted recently, like I, like, I start rambling and stuff and I'm like, Jack, you were so annoying. Jack, shut up, you know? Like, and it's just like, I hope that like, this is not gonna like make me cringe too much. I don't know. What's the time? Alexa, what's the time? Hey Alexa, what's the time? The time is 8.31 p.m. 8.31 p.m. I swear I can hear fireworks outside. I swear. I can't! Wait! Why are you doing the fireworks at 8.30? Can't see them. Um, anyway. I feel like I need to talk about things. Like, this is the bad thing with me. Like, I ramble on about things that literally don't even matter. And I just like, okay, just, uh, okay. Uh. I would say 2023 was actually a very good year. I actually went through a phase like a couple of months ago where I was like, I've literally done absolutely nothing in my life this year. But like, honestly, looking back, I have done so much, especially like travel wise. Like I've been to like England, Scotland. I went to Perth. I went to like Sydney, like maybe four or five times. Like, oh my God, I went to Dubai for two weeks all by myself. I went to Fiji. I, I went on a cruise. Like this year has honestly like flown, but at the same time, I feel like I've like done so, I don't know. Anyway, let's tuck into a taco, shall we? Mm. Oh my god, I just hope I don't wake up tomorrow morning and have like a stomach ache or something. I don't know, because sometimes KFC like does things to me. Anyway, I wrote a list of like 2024 ins and outs and I genuinely think I have the best ins and outs list to exist, honestly. I actually made a little bit of a laptop presentation, but I was gonna do it for a TikTok, but I'm kind of having thoughts right now. Should I also like do it right now, here? Should I? Maybe in a minute. So anyway, let's talk about goals and aspirations for 2024, shall we? To be honest, I actually have no idea. Like, I literally have no idea. Like, <laughs> I never really 
just set like resolutions or goals and stuff really because like I literally change my mind about everything like every like two minutes. So I like, I honestly don't even know. Oh, but a big thing that is happening tomorrow, everyone. Mercury is coming out of retrograde. You're welcome. I don't know why, but every single time like Mercury retrograde happens, it's just like the worst time of my life. And I like, I know it's such like a spiritual thing to like believe in and all and stuff. Like I genuinely believe so strongly in my heart that it is like a real thing. Like I swear, like every single time there's a Mercury retrograde, I'm like an emotional wreck for like two weeks or whatever, you know, like it is like insane. But thankfully tomorrow we should be back to normal. Do you know what's like actually scaring me about next year? I'm going to be 25. Like I'm turning 25 years old next year. Like, do you know how scared I am at that? Literally when I turned 24 this year, I like cried for like a week. Like, I never really cared about my age until I was like, maybe like 22, maybe 23. And then I started thinking like, oh my gosh, like I'm not like a young, like, you know, fruity floaty like boy anymore. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm kind of like getting older. You know what I mean? And like the thought of telling people that I'm 25, like I literally like, I'm scared. Like I'm literally scared. Like I literally like, I don't know what to do. I'm actually a little bit like stressed out at the moment actually because like my lease ends in Brisbane on in February and I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Oh my God. Those fireworks are absolutely going for it right now. Cause like the thing is like, okay, this sounds so bad but it literally took me like 10 months to like set up my current apartment. Like literally like, I only just got Wi-Fi here. Like, <laughs> but like at the same time, I'm also kind of like, am I sick of Brisbane? Like, I'm kind of thinking like, do I want to move to the Gold Coast? Like, I'm just like really tossing up all the options at the moment. Like I'm doing like pros and cons of like, you know, like staying here in Brisbane and like in the same place. Or like, if you know, I moved to like the Gold Coast or like literally anywhere. Like I literally just have like no idea what I want to do. Like who knows? I honestly like, do you know what? A few months ago, I actually almost like <laughs> made this like outrageous decision to move countries and everything. I swear. I just like get in these moods sometimes where I just get like really like obsessed with the idea of something and I'm like reality kicks in and I'm like oh like maybe not like <laughs> guys let me know am I a good mukbanger like mukbanger let me know how am I going I feel like I'm going okay I actually don't really know how much I've said or like if I've even really said anything but let me know. Baby's getting full, ladies. Wait, oh my God, why do I feel like this is more than six nuggets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I gave me eight. Oh my God, that is so sweet. Oh my God, if the CEO of KFC is watching this, guys, they did not give me any extra. They did not. Like the thing is with the new year, like I'm not going into it all being like, oh my God, this is gonna be the best year. This is, this is gonna happen and that's gonna happen and stuff like, I'm taking January as a trial month. Gonna see how we get through January and then possibly on the 1st of February, I might actually re-celebrate New Year's properly. Um, I'm just like kind of like in a phase at the moment where I'm just like, it literally just does not feel like New Year's at all. And I think it is because of like Mercury retrograde. So um, yeah. But we'll just, see, we'll just see what happens, you know? I swear, like if this whole road trip thing that I wanted to do, like driving to Sydney or whatever, I was literally looking at like accommodation in like literally like the most random stores like Taree and Gosford because like a little bit of a fun fact about me if you didn't know I was born in Taree and I like grew up in Gosford and I was kind of like what if I like went back and like stayed in like each of those places for one night on my like way to Sydney or whatever you know but here we are like <laughs> the thing is though I was like if I did go to those places like I'm like what do I do if I get there and I just like absolutely like freak out I'm like oh my god I don't want to be here you know what I mean like but like, I don't know, is this weird? But like, I, I just wanted to like literally go back and like drive around and like see the places that I used to go to, like see where I used to work, like, you know, go see where I went to school and stuff. Like just, I don't know, I just thought it was like really random, but I was just like, I think it was just the Mercury retrograde speaking, I don't know. But yeah, like I just don't know about Brisbane. Like I go through phases, right? I feel like I go through like, you know, I have like a week where I'm like, oh my God, I actually really like Brisbane. And then the next week I'm like, okay, I'm over it. You know, like, I don't know. Today I went to Uptown. Does anyone know Uptown? Like. I, I swear, they need to do some renovations ASAP. Like, if you guys aren't from Brisbane, I'm gonna tell you something right now. There is no Sephora in the, in the CBD, in the city. There is no top juice in Brisbane, none. Kapush, absolutely not. Brisbane loves buses, like, or like in the city, like, you know, like there's a lot of bus stops. Like, I don't really know, like they're big on buses here. I feel like the city cat, that is pure, like, Brisbane culture. The city cat is the ferry that like goes all like along the river. That is Brisbane core. Okay, if you come to Brisbane, get the city cat. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm getting full. I haven't even touched the burger. Wait, one second. Wasn't there supposed to be a salad in this thing? 
Jack, not funny. Shut up, Jack, shut up. It's just so crazy that it's New Year's. Like, how crazy is that? But you know what? I said on my Instagram story that, you know, like, I'm, like, alone or whatever. And a lot, like, a lot of people started replying saying that they are too. Like, they're also spending. And, like, I don't know why. Like, in my head, I just kind of always, like, kind of thought, like, everyone, like, goes out on New Year's. But, like, uh, to be genuinely honest with you, like, I'm not that fast. Like, I'm actually not. I don't know why I always ask for extra lettuce. Like, it just makes it, like, smexier. Everyone, we're going to take a little bit of a break from this. And I'm going to show you my 2024 ins and outs. Oh my god, wait! Wait, 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 we've got two things. We've got two things now. We've got two things now. So it's the end of the year, and I thought, what better way to treat myself than a new product from Dior? Okay, so like, I just really wanted to buy something. Honestly, do you know when you just get in the mood to just like, buy something? You're like, what do I get? I actually was gonna go in and get a keychain for my keys, because I literally do not own a keychain. Like, I swear, I just literally got like a generic, like, I don't know, like, silver one from like, that the keys literally just like came on, I don't know. Went to Dior um, and got myself a little something. Now, this isn't something that I actually needed like at all, but like, I just wanted it. Like, it was just cute, you know what I mean? I actually didn't, okay, I'll just show you. Okay, so I went in, she is, and, oh my God, oh yeah. And I got, ooh, ooh, okay. New card holder, bit basic. So this is actually my third card holder. I don't know why, I just saw it and I really liked it. When I was in there, they actually, like, they had, like, this canvas, like, monogram thing in, like, that kind of, like, is it, like, a, I guess, like, a natural, like, beige kind of cream color? And I really wanted that in this. And then they said they were actually out of stock and they would have to order it in. And I was kind of like, mm, don't really want to wait. So, um, yeah, I just got the black, which, honestly, I actually, like, really like this. Did I need this? Literally not at all, but I just felt like buying something, you know? And, like, so, yeah, I did that. A bit random, I don't know. It was just like in the moment, you know? I just saw it and I was like, oh, that's cute, but I don't know. Now, let's get on to the presentation. Great, the lighting's horrible, okay. Welcome to my 2024 ins and outs. First up, we will be discussing our ins. In for 2024, we've got doing head checks when driving. As we can see, we have some examples here of head checks. Up next, we are into female deodorant because why do men think that getting out of the shower and spraying some deodorant that smells like a bourbon and coke smell good? I'm just all about female deodorant because you get watermelon, you get lychee and you get like flowers and roses and nice stuff that you'd want to smell like. Not like bourbon and coke. There's even like a VB like beard deodorant. I'm like why? Anyway, up next we have got Harris Farm Market. I would love to see myself go here more often. I actually think I have been here once in my entire life. Next, we have got LD Shadow Lady. LD Shadow Lady is in for 2024. She is the hot topic. She is the it girl. She is the girl everyone wants to be. Up next, we have got Water Flosses. Water Flosses are making a comeback for 2024, everyone. As you can see here, um, actually to be honest, I actually don't own a water flosser. I just think the idea of it's pretty cool and um, yeah, I think they should be a big trend for 2024. Anyway, oh ho ho, Arism Uniqlo t-shirts. I am actually wearing one right now. These t-shirts are my favorite t-shirts and they will save your life. Um, now we're gonna discuss some outs. Some outs for 2024. Now up first, this is a big one for me. Unpopular opinion, but I don't think Nutella belongs on an acai bowl. Look, whatever tickles your fancy, I get it, but Nutella on an acai bowl? I just don't get it. Anyway, up next, we have got Brisbane. Feel like this one is a little bit self-explanatory. Oh, I've accidentally just clicked next again! Whoops! But anyway, yeah, it's probably time to move on from that anyway. Next up, we have got E10 Petrol. E10 Petrol should be a thing of the past. One time I actually put E10 Petrol in my car and I felt like my car was struggling to accelerate, so I never did it ever again. Up next, we have got Bone Broth as a drink. Look, I understand bone broth has some amazing health benefits. It doesn't need to be like a trend. It doesn't need to be like, oh yeah, hey, I'm having a bone broth like drink. Like, no, like we can just let bone broth be. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Anyway, up next we have got furniture from Wish. 
Now, I have a little bit of a um, story time about um, furniture from Wish. I actually bought my outdoor lounge off Wish. It was, it, oh, the ad honestly looked exactly, actually, you know why? This one actually might be my um, outdoor lounge down here. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting is being very funny with me right now. Yeah, I actually think that could be like similar to what I have now, but it is the worst thing I have ever bought in my whole entire life. Yes, it was cheap. Yes, it did assemble successfully and everything, but it's just, it's just not it. Um, but yeah, that's it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little commercial break. I think it's time for us to have some dessert. And then there was churros. Baby is so full right now. Mmm. Oh. If you've never had the churros from GYG, you're missing out. I'm telling you. So there's this show that I binge watched on Netflix. It's called Squid Game The Challenge. It wasn't the best show I've ever seen, but like the acting in it is so funny. Honestly, if you have not seen it, I actually would recommend. Like I watched the whole season in two days. Could have done it in one, but I just wanted to space it out a bit, you know? But you know what? I'm actually so bad. I actually really struggle like getting into like TV series and stuff. Like, I don't know, like, especially the ones where there's like heaps of characters. Like I've tried to watch Outer Banks like three times and I just can't get into it. I get so confused with who is who. Like I, I can't like, follow the story because I'm like, oh my god, wait, who's who again? And so I don't know, like, I just like can't focus. I don't know why, like, I just like anything that's like, just like easy to watch, you know? Like, like I really like the movie Wally -E because like, there's no like actual like speaking in it until like, I don't know, like 40 minutes into the movie. So like, you don't really need to like pay that much attention. Like, and it's just kind of like him, you know? So I don't get confused with like, who's who and stuff. Like, we're done. No more fun. Is done. I just like cannot believe that it is New Year's. Like, I really cannot believe it. Like it just, I wish it was like next week or something. Like I just need a bit more time to like get myself together. Like once Mercury retrograde's over, like then I'll be like, you know, ready for it. But like, because like it's Mercury retrograde right now, I'm just kind of like, uh. I honestly like don't even really know like what I want to do next year. That's the thing. Like I keep changing my mind about like stuff that I want to do. Like for example, like for my 25th birthday, like right, I want to go like overseas and like do something, you know, kind of big for that. I kind of want to get like hire a G wagon on and stuff. Like I don't know. Like the thought of like even like just getting an Uber to the airport at the moment, it's literally just like I don't know, like needles in my eyes or something. I just would rather just like stay home and do nothing. I don't know what it is. Like it's just like like the thought of like just going to the airport in general. Like it just like annoys me. Like I don't know. Like it's just like we'll see how we go because that's like four and a half months away. So maybe like between now and then I might change my mind about how I feel about the airport. But like do you know what I mean? Like the airport is just so annoying. Like it's just so annoying. Like anyway, just shut up. I don't know why it always just gets so awkward when it comes to like ending a video. Like I don't like because that's when I feel like I get cringe. Like for example. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing new year and that this year is going to be so like beautiful and positive. Like shut, shut up. Like I don't, I don't know why. Like even just saying that just now, like I'm like, oh my God, I'm like cringing at myself. Like, <laughs> but, like if someone else was to say that, I swear, like literally like the best thing in the whole entire world. But like for me, like I'm like, it's just like not me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But honestly, this year is going to be a good year because actually I think here's a little fun fact about me. I have like this thing, like in recent years, like I have a good year and then I have a bad year. I have a good year, I have a bad year. I have a good year, I have a bad year. And like this year was my bad year, but even though like it was, it was actually a really good year. So like, I shouldn't say that. So like, so then in that sense then, 2024 should be like amazing. And also I actually heard something about 2024, like the number, because like it's a, um, it's divisible by eight, the number eight, apparently that's, like got some spiritual meaning and very good or something. I have no idea, but it's gonna be a really good year apparently. And like, I hate saying that because then I like jinx myself and then I'm like, oh my gosh, like what am I doing? But then at the same time, I'm kind of like, mm, like, I mean, like I get it. Like I built, like I get that. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know, honestly, but um, yeah. So yeah, anyway, happy new year. Um, I will see you soon and um, I love you. Okay, goodbye.